going on, guys? How y'all doing today? A little tired right now, but I'm um, I'm out right now. I got I stopped to make a video, and of course get some gas. But, um, it's crazy. God just always, man. I opened the book one time, and it's something God wants me to see. <laughs> God want me to see this verse or this chapter. I'm in. It's crazy. It's called and this the, the passage is about four things which disquires the earth. Isn't that something? It's amazing. And you got me reading chapter 31. And it's definitely about um, a man. It's about the mother teaching the son what, what not to fall victim to. It's crazy. But uh, here it goes. It says, um, words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What my son and what the son of my womb and what the son of my vows. Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, and not for princess strong drink. Lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty and remembers his his uh mis mister mister misery my fault no more. Open thy mouth for the dumb and the cause of all such as are appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth and judge righteously and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above the rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchants of merchants ship. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maiden. She considereth a field and buyeth it with the fruit of her hands. She planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengtheneth her arms, she perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her handle goeth not out by the night. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She stretcheth out her hand to the poor, yet yeah, she reacheth her forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself covering of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. So basically, it's saying like the woman of a woman of God that likes to work, use her hands. She 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 she's hands on. She's a go getter, and she doesn't like to sit around like like a, like a Jezebel would do. That would like to leech off men and deceive men and drag men to hell with lust and steal your goods and all that. So um, this woman, God, a woman, she likes to work. She takes care of her family. So we have to have an open eye. We have to respect our spirit and our temple that God gave us. Because we are a temple of God. We need to respect ourselves with, you know, staying connected or, or um, being involved with women who have um, a virtuous spirit and not a Jezebel spirit. Because um, they, they, that'll lead you to destruction. And um, yeah, I know God doesn't like that. We need to have a woman who has a purpose in her life. Because God don't want us to be um God don't God doesn't want us to be married for no reason. You gotta have a purpose with it. And that's definitely the fight for God at the end of the day. Not just to be married and have kids. We head is deeper than that. So, um, yeah, man. There's a lot of people that's married to the wrong mate, wrong man, wrong woman. And they wonder why it don't last. Or wonder why uh they get divorced early, quick. Because per personally, God doesn't ordain it. God didn't ordain it. And a lot of people, we have kids just out of, you know, lust, one night stands and things like that, you know, that happens. So, it's a lot of things we need to repent for, for, have, for doing out of, like, out of lust. So, we just got to look in the mirror. We got to face the facts. And, um, and that's exactly why we are going through things because the enemy has hidden things deep in our hearts. So we gotta we gotta work on that. We need to sit down and 
let God speak to him. And um, yeah, stick in the Bible, stick the word, pray to him in the morning, pray to him before you leave the house. Cause you never know when it's your last day. You never know what type of problems you're gonna be faced with. And then at that, you need to pray over your family, your mother, your, your, your wife, your kids. Because at the end of the day, the devil has a plan to destroy, kill, still and destroy. He don't care if you're good or bad. He don't care how young or old you are. He wants to stir up discord, confusion. You know, he wants family to be divided. So you got to pray against that spirit of division at the end of the day. you got to bind that up. And at the end of the day, God loves us all, man. He just wants us to be... He wants to be obedient to his word. He wants to abide by his laws and principles. You know, obedient, and it's always better to be obedient than to sacrifice. It's good to sacrifice, but it's better to be obedient. You can be sacrificing all you want, but not being obedient. You know, God doesn't like that. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm gonna finish this up. It says, uh, her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth, delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in the time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. See, she says, she looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. I stand still not doing nothing. And that's when the enemy can definitely get to you or attack you, man. You're in idleness, so it's best to always be in, be in the spirit, walk in the spirit, not uh, walking, um, operating in the flesh. So that means staying in the Bible, stay, worship, uh, pray without season. That's also in the Bible. Pray from day to night. Because we're in a wicked world, you need to pray from day to night. Because the times that we're in, it's only getting darker. So the supernatural is only getting thicker. It's only getting more evident. And right now, a lot of people are being controlled by things. That's why they're still doing what they're still doing. They're still smoking and having sex, and <clears throat> operating in sexual immorality. <clears throat> so you got to pray. Pray for those folks, even if you don't like them. Because if you was in that position, you wouldn't want somebody to pray for you. Because everybody knows how it feels to be abandoned and to feel enslaved to a sin that you really want to break. But you can't do it. It's not by our power. It's not by our might. It's about the spirit of the living God. Only he can do it. You gotta rely on him for everything. For every problem that you have, every issue, every addiction, every affliction. He should be the root of everything. Because only he can do it. Jesus. And that's Jesus Christ. But uh, I'm gonna finish this up. It says, She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in times to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom. And in her tongue is the law of kindness. <clears throat> she looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also her, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou ex excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise in her, in her, in her the gates. And um, this passage on this on this, on this side it says a virtuous woman cares for her family. So a woman of God is definitely going to show that she cares for her family, and she's not going to be out in the streets, you know, trying to get high, trying to um, just things like that. Yeah, man, you must have an open eye. You must uh, respect our temple because we're not here for ourselves. We must um, live for for God at the end of the day. So once you um. You know, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. He's the owner of your soul and body. So that's why bad things happen to good people because you step out of line, you know. There's a lot of things that happened to me and I was wondering why. And that's because we're not following what he wants for us. He has a purpose for every each one of us on this planet. You know, sometimes God ordained us to go through certain pains. And that's for the that's for the sake of others to to get to you know, you know, put faith in them that God is real, and he can get a person out through anything. Sometimes a person that's going through that darkest time, it's a war in their mind. Because sometimes they don't even have, their faith gets shaken up because it's just a person be like, when am I going to get through this? When is this um, cycle, cycle going to stop? It's a spiritual war, and it's deep in the flesh. You can't war in the flesh.
because it, it, it will never, you'll never get through. So at the end of the day, you gotta pray to God. You gotta learn how to um, pray to God. You gotta learn how to warfare. Stay away from sin as much as possible. Respect each other. Love each other. Forgive one another. And that's easier said than done. Because unforgiveness and bitterness and strife and resentment can hide deep in your heart and soul. So it's you gotta ask God. And you gotta say a prayer. Ask Him to read your heart and mind and, and, and consume everything that is not of Him inside your heart and soul and mind. So it's a stronghold, guys. We, can, we must break it. We must dismantle it. And that's by prayer. Constant prayer. Consistently. Some people, and some pastors and teachers, pastors or evangelists, apostles, flowers, they pray probably about, they might be praying about 10 times throughout the day versus a lukewarm. You can't be lukewarm. Lukewarm Christians will not make it in heaven. So, lukewarm Christians will not make it in heaven. You must pray more than one time. You, we must pray on our knees. We must respect God. We must honor God because he created us. He didn't have to create you. He woke you up this morning. He got you through the day. You live in a dangerous environment, and you didn't get hit by a straight bullet. Uh, you you weren't the one that got shot in that drive-by. You weren't that one got shot that got hurt or killed in that massacre you was caught up in. So we must we must respect God, and sometimes it take a life and death situation for a person to really give their life unto God. So I thank you guys. I bless you guys. I pray pray for your mind, soul, and body. I, I speak. Restoration, I declare the decree, restoration, deliverance, uh, strongholds over your mind and your soul to be broken. Every addiction, I declare and decree, it is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Accept this, accept this prayer and receive it with a whole heart and believe that you, things are being broken. Every demonic chain is being broken. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. It's not by power, it's not by might, but it's by the spirit of the living God. So we thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray that you give us direction. I pray that we, we, we are receptive to, to that small voice. And we love you, Lord God. We need you each and every day, every hour, every week, every month, every year. And I thank you that you, whoever's watching this, I thank you, I thank you for getting them through another year. Because obviously we must have a plan. You must have a plan for them in the future. And um, it's an honor, Lord God. And it's a privilege that you that we are alive still it's an honor it's a privilege that we that we got through every trial and tribulation it's an honor and privilege that we we got through every affliction it's an honor and privilege just to say it's an honor and privilege thank you lord jesus in jesus mighty name i pray amen bless you all